Hey guys, um, well, uh, here's another video that I'm doing, um, I'm, I might have to, uh, do some editing after this, cause my, uh, this video cam, the webcam on this thing is not acting right, it keeps cutting out like every couple of minutes or so, so, but I wanted to, uh, talk to you about something that kind of pissed me off yesterday while I was um, when I got home from uh, when I got home from my class from one of my classes um, I read that for three years actually this girl named um, I forgot what her name was she's she for, from 2007 up till recently she's voiced uh, Dora the Explorer not the original one. She's only 14, by the way. But her and her parents... Uh, I might think of it later. But her and her parents um, are filing a lawsuit against Nickelodeon because they have not paid her um, millions of dollars that they owe her. It's like... I think it's more like $1.3 million or something like that. But they owe her all this money and they haven't paid her since she... since they hired her to work. And I think that is that is wrong. It is stingy. And I think Nickelodeon should really should really take a look at this. That is why I am uh, urging not only anybody who views this video, but anybody, just anybody in particular. I would like if you view this video, pass it on to somebody. Because I want this to be a, a trending thread. Um, I want. Here's what I want. Until Nickelodeon agrees to pay this girl and her family the money that they owe her, we need to boycott all Nickelodeon shows, merchandise, and anything else related to Nickelodeon. Because they're. So this includes any of their networks. Um, Teen Nick, Nick Games and Sports, um, Nick at Night, TV Land, Nicktoons Network, any of those Nick channels. We need to boycott them. Uh, Noggin, uh, The Inn, those need to be boycotted. Um, any merchandise such as, you know, toys, clothes, shoes, everything needs to be boycotted. In addition, I plan to soon um, contact Nickelodeon's uh, office. I'm going to try and email them and send them an angry letter stating how I feel and how many people most likely feel because this is just wrong and I don't think they should be able to get away with it. It's really... This isn't the first time that a network, a kids network, has done something wrong. As you know, I made a video last month about um, about Disney and how apparently not only was it this one woman that they wouldn't wear the uh, hijab, and I think um, I can't remember your name right off. I have, you know, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name, but I did get a comment from somebody who did um, that did point out what the scarf was and it's the hijab and um, I thank you very much for that um, but um, try to ignore me and the sounds in the background there's a bunch of assholes that are going on vacation this weekend and, uh, there's also trucks that go up and down this road um, anyway um, but yes um, Where was I? Oh yeah, the hijab. The, the person that gave me the that told me what the scarf was, the hijab. Thank you so much. Um, but apparently there was another person earlier this year that Disney had done this to as well. And you know, again, they should they this that all this is wrong. It's racist. And 
it just pisses me off. Now, I don't, I'm not going to go all the way out on a limb and say that what Nickelodeon did to this little girl and her family, I wouldn't exactly call it racist yet, but they're leaning on it. So, um, yeah, so, so just do me a favor, uh, boycott Nickelodeon everything, pretty much contact Nickelodeon's front office and tell them how you feel and hopefully we can get Nickelodeon to um, to listen and pay this girl and her family the money that they owe her so uh, um, and I guess that's about it so uh, rate, subscribe, leave comments, definitely leave comments because I want to read your uh, read what you guys have to say for, especially on this um, and hopefully we can hopefully some justice will be served I know eventually our justice system will work in favor of Nickelodeon or will work in favor of Nickelodeon giving this girl and her family the money um, even though our justice system is very corrupt but anyway, hopefully we can get something going. And I thank you so much for listening. Later.